Well, hundreds of migrants continue to sleep on sidewalks outside Sacred Heart Church in South El Paso. The migrant surge comes as Title 42 is set to be lifted in two weeks. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap shows us what the situation is like. We were fixed on crossing and reaching our destiny, so we jumped over the fence and we hid by a cemetery and we waited there until 4 or 5 a.m. until somebody could pick us up and bring us here. This man from Venezuela, just one of many staying outside of the church. Border Patrol sending us a statement reading a part quote, El Paso sector processes every migrant that comes into our custody. Now a pastor has been helping with the migrants at Sacred Heart Church saying he fears there will be even more if the migrants don't get some guidance on where to go. Basically nobody guides them to where they need to be. They're going to have more people like we had back in November, December. I'm thinking anywhere between nine to a thousand people we had in that time. Congresswoman Veronica Escobar also saying the migrants in El Paso need guidance. Migrants who do have status need to be informed that nobody's going to come in and and essentially pay for their travel. So they need to be provided very specific information. And Congressman Tony Gonzalez also commenting on the hundreds of migrants on the streets ahead of Title 42 ending. You just need to enforce the laws that are already on the books. If somebody comes over illegally and they do not qualify for asylum, they get sent back to their country of origin. They don't get sent back to Mexico to try and try again. And that was Shelby Cap reporting. There is a similar situation happening at the Opportunity Center in Central El Paso, where hundreds of migrants are outside and the shelter is at capacity. KTSM will, of course, continue to follow this developing story and bring you updates as they come into our newsroom.